What's up everyone, Ryan here, and I'm back with another PGA Tour 2K23 Challenge Series video. And today, I'm returning to the Impossible Challenge Series. And in this series, I take on some of the hardest golf courses in the game on extreme course conditions and try to get to a score of even or better on Master TGC Tour's difficulty settings. So today, I'm continuing my journey at the truly impossible golf course for me, Central Park AG, designed by the legend Alan Greenspun. And today will make my 47th attempt. Yes, this is my 47th week on this challenge. But a week ago, in attempt number 46, it was looking like that was going to be the final attempt. Got within two strokes of the challenge, but really was right there. If a couple of putts drop, a couple of lip outs don't happen, we beat the challenge last week. And that round gives me so much confidence moving forward. But... You never want to have too much confidence in this impossible challenge because it will humble you quickly. And trust me, I respect this golf course and I'm going to stay humble. I need all your all's one times, all the hype and positive encouraging comments just like always. If you all get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more and you can check out my other impossible challenge series that I completed before this if you have not done so. I have a full Predator AG impossible challenge on the channel and trust me you don't want to miss that one it was epic we took that course down in 11 attempts in the luckiest and perfect round of all time and we're going to take this course down in 47 attempts with the luckiest and perfect round of all time today april 12th 2024 let's do this you all already know the course. Central Park AG by Alan Greenspun. The settings are the same. They've always been back tees. Pit location number four. We got very high winds blowing in the north direction. Very firm fairways. Very firm greens. Very fast green speeds. And default time of day and weather. It is time. Get your coffee. Whatever you're drinking today. Cheers, everybody. Today's the day. April 12th. I'm feeling good. Masters weekend, everybody. Come Hello on. Hello there, and welcome to the game that is PGA Tour 2K23. We've got a par four in front of us as we begin. Now let's stripe this drive into the fairway and get on our way. I can't think of a better weekend to complete this. The Masters this weekend? Are you kidding me? Let's get the nervous shooters out with the practice swing. And I will say, I'm going to try a different strategy today, and I'm going to play a little bit quicker. I feel like I over... I overthought sometimes last week, and many of you have pointed that out that I tend to do that sometimes. I'm gonna try not to overthink. I'm just gonna try to play with instincts and play some good golf. Because in my instincts with how much I've played this course, they should be pretty good. <laughs> now, we are on our 47th attempt, so my instincts aren't the greatest, clearly. Shot here on the first. <laughs> Okay, focus up, Ryan. Wake up. No more live stories. Let's send this three wood. Just got to put this up in the fairway. Now, I bet when new people come across this challenge series, you all probably think, have you really tried this 47 straight, 47 weeks? Well, I wish I could say no. <laughs> That's not going to be good. I can't say no third shot. to that one. Yeah, we really have. 109 yards. Now, the wind this week, although it's almost at the max, I think I like this wind direction. We'll see how it plays the rest of the course, but I think this could be the day for good wind. And I don't feel nervous at all today. And it, it, Very rarely do I not feel nervous on this challenge. Last week, I didn't feel ner nervous either until the end. Here we go. That's beautiful. It, uh, the swing plane was off. The shot was perfect. Swing plane was off, and we're still yeah, dancing. Work. Uh, nice approach. Good luck on this one. Par save, possibly. 23 feet, downhill two inches. It, it's right to left the entire way. These are the ones you got to make. I will focus on greens, though. I have to focus 100% on those. And I, I will try not to overthink them, but I have to. We go one time cut cut Ooh. i pushed it 
I still don't know if it would have dropped. I think I hit it. I overpowered it slightly as well. Still a good putt, There's though. Bogey putt. That's all right. Pars are like birdies here. Got to make this, though. So. Looking good. There we go. We'll take bogey. Don't get down on yourself just yet. Starting off over par, but you know what? We're going to fix that. The first two holes, you're just trying not to double bogey. Like, really, you're trying to survive the first two holes here. That's just the way this course plays. And I like the new strategy here of going three wood. And hey, I want to say thank you. You're all as positive, encouraging comments, and you all just you all talking about what worked and what didn't each run. I I, I greatly appreciate that. That that inspire your your all's encouragement okay, keeps inspiring me to take on this challenge every week. It's tough to come back every week, but you all inspire me, and thank you for that. 261 yards left. I I really like the three wood. Because we've been bland. It's going to go in this way either way. And what I'm going to try to do is make it. Right? Why not? Because we know where it's going to roll if we miss it. Like, just a fact. So why not just make it? Imagine. That's too much. It's going to roll up and all the way down. Yeah, overhit it a little bit. Good tempo, though. Yeah, we know where it's going. The shot we've had like five weeks in a Seven row, right? Our third shot. It's a it's a nice flop shot. There's really not much to it. Shot we've had quite a bit. It's a downhill lie, so it's going to fly further. You have a tailwind. Going to shoot off to the left more than last last week. Great shot. That's perfect. You can't hit it any better than that. And it's going to roll back slightly and give us that par chance that you want. Beautiful. Nine feet to the cup. Now, this is the dangerous putt, but you got to make it. Nine feet, uphill three inches, steady left to right. I really struggle in the shadows on this game. I just I struggle to see the lines. It's a it's I don't know if it's the color or what it is about the shadow. One time. What's well, heading towards? That is hole. massive. Are you kidding me? Go. There's your par. If you can escape better than two over, you're in great There's position to win this certainly. challenge. This was the one that Careful crushed us there. last Wind's week. Going left to right on this hole. This is the one that crushed us. Whatever you do, Ryan, do not miss tempo here. 170 yards, downhill 40 feet. We know the club to hit. I love the pitching wedge here. Please be the one. Please be the one. Come on. Really nice swing. Felt good. Felt really good. That is massive. Last week, this hole killed us. That's Simply how you bounce back. Here's what you're looking at for birdie. So this is actually your best look at birdie on this golf hole because it's an uphill putt. Usually you have a downhill one. I, I don't think we've ever had this putt this entire challenge series. Believe it or not. I don't think we have. One time. It could be a good one. Ah, oh, just right by the. I hole. did not see it breaking that much up that hill That's personally. Short. So actually, so look at it there. Look at the break. Look at how fast the lines are moving now. Looking at it from the other side, they were not moving. I did not think they looked like that fast from the other side. If it looks like that, I make the putt. So that that is. That really threw me off. Still, uh, it's it's a good par, but it's a frustrating par because that's this when tracking. when we okay, make a lot of times. On the round currently. I make a lot of times in this game. I only have a little bit of coffee yet. I'm going to try to not drink so much coffee to not get too fired up. <laughs> For great start, though. Here we go.
Get lucky, please. Get lucky. Get lucky. Get lucky, please. Thank you, game. You know, I think... I think it's Alan Greenspun was out the there floor. on the fairway or in the rough and kicked that ball in. That is perfection. Now, this is the one. We just have to do it. We have to go for the fairway here on a mega fade. And we've got to put this one in the fairway. There's just the other way around it. You have to hit the fairway here. I've tried to talk about, talk this shot down a little bit and lay up. But you've got to go for it. And then hold. That's the best shot we've ever hit here. Good job. Okay, this is about 125 yards away. Come on. 127. Uphill 12. It's going to play about 4 yards further, right? So this 124 carry is going to play 120. That's too short. But with the wind, it's going to be just fine. Are we on a downhill lie? Yep. It's going to add some extra distance to it. I don't want to hit a pitch shot. So this gap wedge is going to carry 122, a little bit more with the wind. And we've got to make sure we attack this. We're not holding anything back here. Do you want to win or do you want to lose? You know? This might be bad. Fasted it. A swing point. What in the world happened there? Whoops, there goes the... Yeah, that's the water. I just... I overswung by a mile. I put some loft on it. I thought I put enough loft to hold it back. All right, setting up here deep in the spinach. It's all right. It's all right. You know, nothing... When you play this course so much, it's easy to get frustrated, right? But when you play this course so much, you just... You know, you miss your shots. You, you get them and move on. No use to dwell on them. We've got to put this close. That's frustrating. Yeah, you better believe it. But I just mishit the shot. The fast added distance to it. And I overhit it a couple percentage points. And that fast sent that ball in the wind. Just not a good shot. Pretty good. Is it going to hold? No, it's going to go off. That's fine. We can chip this up. Okay, careful on this one. We're in the green side. Come on, right? Ryan. Send this in for the bogey of your life. Not going to use any shot shaping. I'm going to try to put this out to the left. Hey, I gave it a run. I gave it a run. And we sent it. It's okay. Hey, this is far from over. This is far okay, from over. You you can you know you can give right? up with bad shots. Or you can keep fighting. Think about this challenge series. There's no quitting during the rounds. You know, there's the, you see the actual 47 attempt. The actual 4th attempt. 5th. You name it. That's part of the challenge. It's about perseverance. You realize the course is going to strike you sometimes. But how do you oh, fight? Work. You fight okay. like that. Every day. Every week. Every year. John knows. You hear that? On that, one. that was a great shot. Every week, every year. John, don't don't bring up years. We're not going to be here. We almost been here for a year. <laughs> three over today. Oh, hey. It's all right. Let's see what we Shake it off. On the fifth hole. I'm not I'm not flustered. We're going to keep fighting. Yeah, we, we, we miss hit a shot. Big time. It was a downhill lie. You fast it on a downhill lie. With that win, the ball is gone. No matter what your shot setup is, it's gone. It's as simple as that. But... We go into attack mode. There's birdies to be had. We've had six birdies in a round before. Let's fight. I'm attacking this one. You better believe it. After that, we're attacking everything. This approach is heading left. That's amazing. Go in. Go in. Go in. No. <laughs> We almost activated the Ace Claws, YouTube. We almost completed the challenge. An Ace Claws was added at the Predator AG. We never found an Ace. Well, you missed the approach. I'm not just. We not almost did anyway. it. Just want you to know that. What a shot! A week ago, we chipped in this shot. That almost went in. That it. That was amazing. But it just shows how hard these greens are, right? It just shows these greens can attack you.
Shot. That's it. It's gonna. It should come back, right? It always comes back, right? Stopped. And you've got this much left to save power on this one. Stopped on a yellow slope. Yeah. 14 feet downhill, three inches. This, this is a perfect description of this golf course, right? Does this not sum up this course? A course where we almost aced and look where we have to putt from. And I know some of you have mentioned Ryan chip on the greens with full loft and backspin. Can't. It's uh, it's. I play TGC Tours rules, so there's no chipping on the green unless you're over 75 feet. So although you're not wrong, that would be a good strategy. We can't do it in this challenge, in the impossible challenge. That is perfection. It is it going to stop though? Amazing. Need a more you all don't realize. So a lot of you all probably do realize. Bogey. That's almost an impossible putt that you have to strike at the perfect percent, which is what we did. I'm not giving up. And that puddle drop. And we keep fighting. It's about perseverance. That double bogey hurt us hole number four. Even though we played it well okay, recently, it's crushed so there. many runs. It's a run crusher. Come on. Remember that time, Ryan Gamer? The Masters Those edition like of the Impossible fair Challenge fair is four over through the first five holes. Almost had an ace and comes back okay. to beat Central Park six. AG. Come on. You gotta believe. You don't believe in yourself, who will, right? Maybe I went into that shot too quick on that par 5, you know? I don't know, I think I, I, it was just a mishit shot, regardless. We've got about 110 yards to go it was here. It's just mishit. 111, uphill 10. I'll be honest, I didn't even know that water was in play on that golf shot. I'm... I'm I didn't know it was. Many of you are like, oh, there's water back there? Exactly. I'm going to go pitching wedge. Put this one close. That's perfection. Go in! The second hardest hole on this golf course. Okay, this one's a three four. What? If you all would have told me we would have doubled four and parred five before this round, I would have said there ain't no way. So that far, is the so hardest good. hole to par on this golf course. You are sitting at four over on the we round. are still in this, YouTube. Get your popcorn, get your snacks, and be ready for the show. And here's a par five for us. We've been playing some insane golf recently. And hole number four humbled us today. But other than that, tempo's been on. Well, Swing be plane's been a lot better. Keep swinging. Second shot here on the seventh. Let's go. Yeah, three wood. Just put it up into the fairway. There we go. A hole that you can attack and you can get birdies on. This win makes it pretty That'll tough. Work. I will say that. Okay, here's our third shot. Oh yeah, this is actually great. Now, does this get under those trees? We haven't been this far back in a while. Usually the wind's a bit different. Yeah, I think it does. I think it does. Here we go. Only one way to find out. You're one times ready, YouTube. Should pull it back. Wind should pull it back, right? Clearly not. That's not bad, though, but I was expecting a little bit more left to right from that wind. It. We'll be on the green eventually. All right, this is your fourth shot. Very dangerous golf shot, but nothing fancy. Just a little bit. Hit it soft on that slope. Let it work its way from left to right. Not send this too far. This is very makeable. That's perfect. Go. Never stop on this hole. Good job with that chip shot. 
Well, I read it what I thought was perfectly. I usually expect a little bit more Wouldn't rollout up that slope. Car on this one. Because I put a slight D-loft and slight forward spin on it. So I thought that would actually go, but what a par. Who would have thought we would have parred? All right, well done. Nobody would have predicted a par on six and seven after a double and a bogey. This course plays so unique each time. Okay, it's 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 the reason why it's the perfect course for my go. impossible challenge, happens. right? Because it embodies the impossible challenge to perfection. Because it plays different each week. You know, those of you that have watched this whole series you know if you're new here don't don't put yourself through going back and watching every single video you know it's You've just got about 215 to go from here don't put yourself through that 217 yards uphill 15 feet we got a significant cross headwind and a chance to put this one close honestly because i can overswing slight d loft and this might be perfection. That's the swing. We got the overswing. Look at this. Bounce left, please. Bounce left. Go in. This may come back. No. Okay, it's going to go to the spot we're always in, right? The spot we've birdied from multiple times in this challenge series. I don't know how many times we birdied this hole, but it's quite a bit. When I say quite a bit, burning this hole more than five times is quite a bit. Burning any hole here more than that is pretty... Well, that'll do for now. Come on. This putt is daunting, to say the 34 least. 34 feet. Hopefully we can can this. One time straight to YouTube. Come on. Looking Come super. on! Get in there, oh, baby! Fun Which fun one of you all just one time that? Way, 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 way out there. We're in this work. thing. That's why you never give up. You never stop fighting because you may have moments like that. Come right on. We're sitting at three over par. That is a Wind huge birdie. Blowing right to left. I drink too much coffee today. I probably shouldn't drink anymore, but drink some coffee for me, everybody. I'm going to send this in the fairway. Get lucky. Get lucky. Get lucky. Grab the light rough at least. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Bad. Brian's shaking his head. Major I don't necessarily agree with that. 90 to 94 percent lie. The problem with this golf shot is the wind, right? But we have to attack it. So I'm going to go full backspin. The wind is a little bit in our face. It's tricky, right? This wind is tricky. Does it play or does it not? If it doesn't play with in our face, we're in trouble. It should. Look at it. It's shifting. Yep, this is perfect. No, no, no. Who put that there? Well, the wind grabbed it all right, didn't it? That you all realize how close that was to be in perfection. That's the story of this course. Yeah, we know where it's going. Oh no. That's painful. Alright. And just in the first cut on this one. It wasn't a bad effort though. So the problem was it just kinda died. So now we've got to go five iron with loft and backspin. That was the shot. So I didn't think that side win. Well, because it, it was a cross win, right? Hold that thought. Hold that thought.
That is perfection. Really well judged approach there. The frustrating so part about that footer. is if I would if the wind the if I would have read that wind like I did the second time, hindsight's twenty twenty, right? Yeah, it's it's easy to read it after you see how the previous shot does. Those diagonal winds play different every single time. And I thought we would still have carried that wall. I really did. Five iron was the perfect club. That was a pitcher perfect golf shot. We almost made that. Got to make this. Looking good. That's huge. And that is the probably the down. clutchest bogey of Ryan Gamer's career in this impossible challenge. Like <laughs> the virtual yeah. athlete Ryan Gamer, you've seen, if you've watched my other content, you know that Ryan plays there, all the right sports, and none of them are quite to the how tricky this course is. But that might be one of the clutchest shot of Ryan's career. That was nuts. I don't want that tree to be in play. This is a must birdie hole, right? So put it out to the right. We're, we're fighting. And that's one thing this challenge helps me with, is okay, perseverance, you know? Let's see what you have on the second shot here on the 10th. This may help you all with perseverance. <laughs> you all persevering to it as well. The wind should pull it back. It's gonna come off to the right. The wind's gonna blow it back. be perfect and this is a birdie chance a hole we birdied last week i believe right didn't we birdie this in attempt 46 nothing wrong with that okay third shot yeah i think i think this is a good shot for the pitch Last week, we, we striped one here on the same... Oh, we, we're a little further back, though. One time. Come on, Bob. Not expecting that win to affect that as much as it did. Tempo was great. I thought it was going to add more distance than send it more to the left. Yeah, that's but... going to do just nicely. Birdie chance. This drops. You can go down to three over. The good thing about this, it's uphill, and we have plenty, plenty of uphill to work with here. Forty-four feet uphill, one foot. This is a momentum shifter. That could be the one. How did that not oh, break as it bad, slowed but, down? Uh, yeah, that was that moving distance, on a yellow you know. slope. All right, here's the tap. What? Look how aggressive that slope is. I Well, I guess there's a little flattening part. Yeah, okay. At the end, there's this little part where it flattens out a little bit, but I, I thought that was the perfect read. It was the perfect distance. What a putt. That's a good par, but right, pars don't win head it. Head over to the next hole, see what we can do. Now, we should only be right two now, over. You sit at four over par. It's lucky we escaped with a double All bogey right, on that hole, but... On hole number 11. On that, not that hole. The one, you know which one I'm talking about. The hole we don't talk about right now. Okay, 201 yards, downhill 24. In this wind, I really like the 7-iron, and I really like attacking this. It, we can get a birdie here. We've done it. A little too far to the right on the approach. Didn't get enough overpower, but still got a great bounce, and the wind helped us out. I was going for like a 102, a 103 which would be the perfect distance there. Good thing we slowed that though. We are right there. This one's for birdie. Playing so good these past four weeks though. So good, we are so close. We are in striking distance. 31 feet, uphill one foot. 
I think I'd rather... It's interesting. I think I'd rather be in this position. I'd rather be 3 over at this point or 2 over. But the reason is, last week when we were sitting even and 1 under at certain times, it adds... I was so much more nervous. I'm not really that nervous right now, but I'm hopeful. Does that make sense? Last week I was just extremely nervous. Like, I really think we could beat this challenge today. Looking really good. How does that okay, stop? Feet to go. That was the line. That was a beautiful read. It just, you know, this is one of those courses... It plays so unique each time, and sometimes that stops. A lot of times that rose all the way back off the green that you all have seen. It just means we struck that a one percentage too short. One percent. Well, have a good hole. We've got a par four for this one. And here you go. Imagine a birdie here. The gauntlet hole. The true and possible golf hole. <laughs> Don't look to the right of the screen there. Nothing to see. Perfect swing. I'm just going to take a drink of coffee and be on my way. That well, was yeah, a swing. That's what they fun. call one of those... One of those... One of those swings. 232. Downhill 44. If we eagle this... Imagine, but YouTube perfect opportunity to point out the fact you never give up. I don't care if you double bogey or quadruple bogey, quintuple bogey, you name the bogey on the first few holes, you grind and you fight because you just might prove yourself wrong and you just might change the momentum which is what we've done this round even if we even if we don't get to even this round do you all realize what we've done we persevered and that's what this challenge is all about you fight Perfect this time for a hole out right. after that speech. <laughs> or, or perfect time for that. On that approach. This is hole number 12 we're talking third. about. Let's send it. That's so tough to get it up that slope. We know where this putt's going, don't we? we, we or we know where this chip's going. We know where we're going to be punting it from, that's for sure. How many well, lip outs did we have downtown. last week on this, this hole? A, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. We don't talk about it. Sorry I brought it up. Some of you still are mad. I'm mad. 33 feet uphill, one foot. It's right to left and left to right. We can make this. That's straight in. I think it's straight in. Oh, this one could drop. Oh. What? Okay, this one's for a bogey. If you all don't believe that this course is alive, just watch that clip back. You have to be kidding me. Welcome to Central Park AG, everybody. Have I really been here for 47 weeks? I present to you evidence, yes, and a lot of it's because of this whole right here. Oh my. Come on, make the putt, Ryan. 
Oh, come on, get in. What'd you say, Ryan? It's about perseverance. <laughs> it's about perseverance, right? <laughs> oh, perseverance. Is it? It really is. Wow, this that was so unfortunate. That's so unlucky, honestly. The, not the fact that only it lipped out. It was coming right back down and decided to go right over the edge. I've seen that lip in before, parts of that same feet. thing on this game, multiple times. But not here. Remember, when AG made this, he put Bugs Bunny in underneath these greens. And sometimes Bugs Bunny has a magnet and is just kind of moving the ball wherever, wherever he wants. <laughs> There's a, you just go, if you're new here, just go back and watch the other ones. You'll know what I'm talking about. Some of you are like, yeah, there's Bugs Bunny again. Yeah. This is straight in. This is straight in. You couldn't convince me that it's not. Oh my. This is the golf hoe that takes, it takes and it takes more. It takes and it takes, YouTube. And if you can sink this, Why do we'll most people rage quit out of this challenge? Cards. Unless you're, you know, one of the top players in the world, right? I don't think there's an impossible challenge that can can stop the top players, right? They're just on another level. They don't miss. But for somebody at my skill caliber, this golf hole. I don't <laughs> it's just its own thing you know but let's make the putt oh it could be oh it's going right by the hole that's perfect speed too so close and the thing about this shot it's a little bit different each time it's enough different to change here we go. Every single read on this top. green. It's one of the most unique pin locations and one of the most frustrating. When you play the other version of this course, keep in mind, there's an easier version of this course. And that course does not has a much better pin locations throughout. And specifically on this golf hole. Okay, so this is going to be... Brush it. Go in the hole. It's got to be, right? Very nice. You're telling me yeah, that one drops, but the bogey earlier drops? That was the same exact shot. <laughs> same. That ball might have actually been traveling faster there than it was before. You just never know. Your score is 8 over par currently. That's frustrating, but you know, 12 is 12. 4 for this one. 12 is 12. I'd rather be 4 over and get a quadruple bogey, bogey than be an even getting quadruple bogey, right? So... Wow. We fight though. Hey, we don't give up. We don't give up. We keep fighting. Each run, you are learning. Each run, you may hit just your best shot ever. On my worst run in this series, I Good hit shot. the best golf shot I've ever yeah, hit. About and I shot like 20 out. some over on like the 30th attempt or something like that. When the week before I had played amazing. And you just never know what's going to happen. Right? You just never know. Please be the one. That swing come from that. That's the same thing place. that I did on hole four. Well, that's all right. We'll get on the green next time. That's the same exact shot. Third shot. Although tempo has been great today, it a couple miss hits have really hurt us now this one didn't really hurt us very much not like we could have gained eight strokes but still all shots are important important that's beautiful that is perfection what okay this one for par let's hey let's play it like we were even at this point and we've got to finish even 10 feet downhill two it's all about the fight Crushed it. Oh, I crushed it. Four foot putt. I've crushed a lot of putts today. This that one couldn't. Going. You can't afford to crush it. Currently sitting at nine over. I hit that like five percent too far. Huh. 
That wind is picking up, blowing left to right on. Babs in an ace. 196 downhill four. This 178 is going to fly 191 around, which is a great club if we overpower this. Been close on this one before. Go. Oh, looks like you got no. some work out for you in this next one. So the wind took off some distance. It was a little bit in the face. Ah, that didn't hit the mark, did it? Great accuracy, Inside though. Inside sand. Looking for an up and down here. What a fight. You know, this round, the story was perseverance. And Ooh, although hold number 12 that. happened, Nicely this round was a good fight. And hold number five's crushed us how many times? Double, but we've okay, quadrupled. Shot. We've conceded shot limits on that hole. It's unfortunate to get a double when we were in prime position, but when you miss hit it sitting at nine over. in the wind, if you fast it on a downhill lie hole. in the wind on a side slope, that ball is gone. There's, you just when you fast it that much with an overswing, there's just nothing you can do. And I always say this: good golf doesn't cut it for me. I have to play perfect. And although these past few weeks we've been close. Mm, what happened there? Okay, okay, what happened there indeed, John? Second shot here on the Although 15th. we've been close, we haven't been perfect. Can't get this over. How did that ball die like that? I tell you, Central Park AG has wanted us to quit. Way to go. Back in the fairway, you've done well. 105, downhill okay, three. 105 left to go. I'm going to go gap wedge and attack it. Oh, did I overswing? Just barely the fast again. I'm back. Look at this. That's a big time shot, and we can chip this in. That's going to miss the green. Unfortunate. Okay, out of the green side rough. Let's do this. Those, sh those short chips like that, I you need that one to stay on the fringe because it, it, they're so touchy. Just a little bit of a swing was 44% right, there, right? For the bogey. Oh, right last week we missed a very similar putt on this hole. You all remember that? We got lucky that that stopped, that's but so we missed a very similar hole for par on this hole. Might need a bit more club. We got a headwind on this hole. This golf course, it'll crush you, you know? It'll crush you. It'll crush you. But you know what? On to the next one. You have to leave it in the past. Take the good. We had a this lot of good in this round. Although this course so fought us a couple times. We use what we learned from this course. And we come prepared next week. The, the beauty and also the, the not so beautiful part of this challenge is it's one time a week. It's one time a week or one times every two weeks. You know, whatever the frequency you do it at. It's a one. There's no practicing there's no playing the course you know it's it's you load up and you play and although that's what makes this challenge so hard because of course it's low reps you know for for some of the hardest challenges in life that takes like thousand repetitions to learn something right and we got to realize we're giving ourselves not very much but that's part of the challenge. It's not supposed to be the easy challenge or the it's not the obtainable challenge, right? It's the impossible challenge. <laughs> and I told myself I'd keep trying till the new game too close to when the new like game the comes out. Tracking. I think the last if it comes down to, I hope it doesn't come down to that, but we have to realize that this and you, uh, this could yeah, be impossible for me. Will, uh, even though we've been close. That impossible so perfect that round may not happen. Rough. And I realize that. As much as I want it to happen, I'm going to keep fighting. And uh, the last impossible challenge video, if it gets to that time, will be like a week before the new game comes out. 
the finale of the impossible challenge series i hope it doesn't get to that point i hope i hope next week the title of the video is called the final attempt <laughs> imagine we've been close but it just you know i i don't want to downplay how tough i i don't think i've downplayed it at all i think you know you all know very well how impossible this is <laughs> You know the play the players at the top top of the world who are just insane, right? They they're they're on another level, and you know they there's been like they they there's been multiple top players in the world have beat it. And drop this one in for your part. And they're on another level though. Like you have to realize that their level of skill they don't miss. And who knows? We may have that round where we don't miss. I'm still dreaming of it. This is the putt that cost us last week. Remember, it doesn't break. It, we had the same exact putt. No, you all pointed out that I pulled it. Okay. You all pull, You all pointed out that, Ryan, no, you actually pulled the putt by a mile, and you're sitting there saying it doesn't break. Putt appears to be online. See? Hey. I see your there. all's tips and encouraging words. You all know who you were. You pointed that out. You said, all right, no, it, yeah, it didn't break because you pulled it by about 50 feet. <laughs> and I went back and watched it. I was like, oh, okay. So that's why. And I'm sitting there telling a life story about how Central Park doesn't make any sense. It doesn't break. And, and you all were just sitting there shaking your head like, Ryan, sometimes you have the worst swing playing ever, like usual. And that was the case of it. What a drive. Up with an elevated green. This might call for some extra distance. Send it. Come on. You know, I'm proud of myself today for not getting flustered. Like, in all seriousness, a run like this is so important. Because what did I do today? I kept my head. I didn't get flustered. There's been runs in the past where I've been so flustered, I've just been hitting the ball, you know? Just kind of going through the motions after. Every shot was intentional today. I kept fighting until the end when this course was trying to beat us up. And we're developing perseverance with each run. That's the only way I beat this challenge. And if I don't beat it, I'm going down swinging. Because whether we win or lose, we go down swinging it. I'm proud of myself. And I know you all will be too. This one might be a bit long. I know you all don't want to see the impossible challenge run the impossible challenge end, but no, there is a very low likelihood right that the, there will Second be an impossible challenge in the new game. Very low likelihood. I'm not saying it's not going to happen. It's going to take the perfect course to pull me in and the perfect challenge. And it will take, I will give myself only 15 attempts per course, maybe even less than that, maybe 10 attempts per course. And because I don't see the impossible challenge returning in the new game. But if it does, it's going to take that perfect course. And it's going to take 10, 10, 10 per course. And I realize that that truly is impossible, right? So we'll, we'll fail like 99% of the time. I don't even know if that's possible unless we just come out in the new game and we're just unstoppable, right? Unless the next game is just so much easier. But this impossible challenge... It's tough to do each week, right? It, it's, it, it takes a Take different type of mental fight far. and perseverance to, to keep going. We keep fighting. This one's tracking. See if we can send it in. There we go. And that will work. Let's go. Hey, we'll take a par. Let's Best see if we can finish with the birdie here. One home here on the final hole of this one. I was hoping today would have been the final impossible challenge attempt ever on Masters weekend. But on to the next one. You know, you can't dwell on it. We've kept our cool today. We played good golf. Good golf doesn't mean you're beating this course. So yeah, you'll take that. we've been so close recently. We've been fighting. We've been grinding and it's going to pay off. You all imagine the feeling that we're all gonna have when we go to this final hole and we send a putt in for par if it happens to beat this challenge setting up for our third shot 
it's going to be an electric day. Got to keep grinding and believing, right? Let's make this. Imagine. Go to the left. Go to the le left. Go to the left. Close. Close. Here we go. This one for birdie. And in the meantime, you know, Impossible Challenge is something I do once every Friday or every other Friday. So if you're, I have plenty, this is only one side series that I do. I got plenty of other content here on the channel. Impossible Challenge is, is far from the only series I do. I have tons of them. I usually post 10 to 12 videos a week, depending on the week. So plenty of stuff for you all to watch in the meantime. As we close out this Impossible Challenge series. What a run it has been. Oh, my oh so close so close what a fight okay, you know it, it's frustrating at none of these are easy it's never easy to to get here to the 18th and be like ah, oh, that's 11 under we missed it by 11 right at the end of the day we fought and it wasn't by far not the worst round we've ever had and then the score doesn't really do it justice i feel like we played well but as we know playing well at this golf course will send you into the next week it's just what happens. Look at that. 85% fairway. What? Fairways are clearly overrated. 27 gurs, 1.61 putts per hole, a 83, 11 over on the scorecard. What a what a what a tough round. What a fight, but it started out with that bogey. We bounced back with a couple good pars. Keep in mind, number three could have very well been a birdie. And number four happened. Miss hit the shot big time. I mean, I miss hit that shot by a mile. And the reason I set up that shot that way is your plan did not hit it short out of bounds. Remember the last time we had that same exact shot, really? We sent it short, rode it back into the out of bounds, and we ended up like hitting it there multiple times. So changed based on what I did in the past there and just couldn't prepare for a over hit and a fast like that. And then we bogeyed par par birdie. So we fought back, we climbed back in it, a bogey on nine on an incredible five iron shot. I don't think I'd ever be able to bogey that golf hole from that spot again. That was insane. Now we know what to hit there in that same exact wind. Then we shot par par and then 12. Bogey par double and then par par par. So at least we finished out with a lot of pars. That was six pars in the back. The problem is we didn't have birdies. And we have had five or six birdies in the back before. And that's what it's going to take to beat this challenge. We know the front. Probably on the, if there's a winning attempt. We know that it's probably going to be three over on the front or two over. And then we're going to dominate on the back and finish it even or one under. Hey, we keep fighting. We keep fighting. Central Park, I'm not done with you yet. Central Park wants us to quit. A lot of people out there want me to quit. But at the end of the day... When I started this challenge, I did not want it to be easy. I knew we may have been here for a while. I, we would still be at Predator AG right now if it wasn't for tip number 11. So here we are. We are at Central Park AG. I said I'd keep trying until the new game came out. And this challenge series is not ending until that time. Probably two weeks right before the new game comes out. If it comes down to that, that will be the final attempt. And if we lose, we go down swinging and while we put up a fight, haven't we? We put up a fight. The Impossible Challenge series, just think about this. We may only have one more episode left. Or two. Or three. In the Impossible Challenge series. And what a ride it has been. Are you kidding me? Let's fight to the end, everybody. Thank you for watching this video to the end, despite... Although it was a struggle, many people probably clicked off after that double bogey. It happens. You all stuck around. You fought. We fought. Developing perseverance and trying to complete this. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And you can check my other Impossible Challenge series that I did before Central Park AG. The only reason I'm still in this challenge is because of attempt number 11 at the Predator AG. It gives me hope. And whenever you lose hope, watch that round. Because that's what I do. 
That round was impossible. A round I can never replicate. A round that I've never been close to replicating after that. That's the only reason I continued the Impossible Challenge series. It's the only reason we are still at this course on 47 straight weeks. Because that course gives me hope. That run gives me hope. Last week we were so close. This week not so close. We keep fighting. I will see you on the next one. It's either going to be April 19th or the week after that. I will see you next time. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.